Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create an expanding section using Figma. So here are some examples for you to get a better sense of this method. So if you take a look at here as you can see there are a bunch of sections that are properly nested and if I click on this it gets expanded and it also gets collapsed. Here's another. If I go over here and click on this it gets expanded. So this is exactly what we're going to create in Figma. So this is hypothetically our product detail page that I've created real quick and it may not really look that good but it's pretty enough for this tutorial. And also I grabbed the footer and header from the Figma community and not to mention its author was this guy over here, you can check him out. And without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see here, I put a really long gibberish in introduction section. And the first thing I'm going to do is make this a frame. And then I bring this all the way to the top. And make sure the clip content is turned on. And then I grab a button from here. And we don't need that icon. And I just re rename this to read more. Perfect. And in order to add a little bit of spice to this, you can also cr create a frame here like this and make sure it is perfectly aligned and also make sure it is inside this frame. So now you can feel this and make it linear and make something like this. Perfect. And I put the button inside this frame and 24 is fine. And now as you can see it's just a little bit messed up here so you can fill this as well and now as you can see it's much better and legible. So thus far we've just created the UI of this section in collapsed position. The next thing I'm gonna do is add interaction to this. So let's go ahead and create a frame here and put this section here and duplicate it and remove this frame from here and bring and I bring this all the way to the bottom and it's just a simple prototyping create a component set and connect this button to this and a smart animate and now I duplicate this here and make sure it is perfectly centered and 32 is fine and now I bring all this stuff to the top perfect and now you're pretty much done here but here's the thing if I play this right now you may guess what will happen so let's see if I go over here and click on read more it gets overlaid and everything is messed up and that's not what we want. So the tricky solution for this is first of all you have to create a frame from all of your sections and then you have to add auto layout to them and finally to the whole page. So let's go ahead and do it. Here's an overview of this product. So I make this a frame. And here's another section. Let's make this a frame as well. And I think there is an unwanted frame here, so I remove it. Alrighty. So there are only five frames left. It's time to add auto layout to them. Like this. And like this. And like this. So now as you can see there are only two auto layout frames left. It's time to add auto layout to the whole page. Perfect. And make sure the vertical padding is set to zero. So let's see how it works. If I go over here and click on read more, 
it works perfectly fine and that's exactly what we were looking for. So let me just recap what we've done here. In order to keep everything unchanged, you have to make your every single section a frame and then add auto layout to them and finally to the whole page. I published this project to Figma community and I will put its link in the description. You can check it out if you want. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have any thought about this, you can comment it down below and see you next time.